Consider this problem. What is the difference in the water pressure between the faucet at the bathroom of a house and the top surface of a water tank located 70 meters above the faucet? So if we're given the height only, how can we calculate the difference in the water pressure between these two points, point A and B? Well, we know that pressure is defined as force over area. And the force is based on the weight force of the water above point B. So the weight force is mg. And we know that density, indicated by the symbol rho, is mass over volume. So if you multiply both sides by volume, you'll see that mass is density times volume. So the pressure is going to be the density times the volume times the gravitational acceleration divided by the area. And volume can be described as area times height. So we have the density, area, height times g divided by a. So we could cancel a. So the difference in the pressure between points a and b is going to be the density of the fluid times g times the difference in the height of those two points. So let's get rid of a few things. And so the change in pressure is going to be the density of water, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, times the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height difference of 70 meters. So let's multiply those three numbers. So this is going to give you 686,000 pascals. So that's the answer. In kilopascals, just divided by 1,000. So this is 686 kilopascals. So that's the difference in pressure between points A and B if you're given a height of 70. Number two, a cylinder is filled with an unknown fluid. The gauge pressure at a depth of 25 centimeters is measured to be 1936 pascals. What is the density of the unknown fluid? So let's say this represents a depth of 25 centimeters. So our goal is to find the density of the fluid given a gauge pressure, which is 1936 at that level. Now keep in mind the gauge pressure is the pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure. So the total pressure at that point is 1936 pascals plus 101,325 pascals due to the atmospheric pressure. But we don't have to worry about the atmospheric pressure. But in case you're curious, the gauge pressure is the difference between the absolute pressure or the total pressure and the atmospheric pressure. Now the gauge pressure is simply equal to the density times the gravitational acceleration times the height. So in this example, the gauge pressure is 1936 pascals, which is the standard unit for pressure. Our goal is to find the density of the unknown fluid. G is going to be the same, 9.8, and the height we need to be in meters. So to convert centimeters to meters, divided by 100. 25 divided by 100 is 0.25, so we got a height of 0.25 meters. So first, let's multiply 9.8 times 0.25. And so we have 1936 is equal to the density times 2.45. Now to isolate rho, we need to divide both sides by 2.45. So the density of the unknown fluid is going to be 1936 divided by 2.45. And so that's going to be about 790 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's the density of the unknown fluid. Number three, for a person who is 1.8 meters tall, what is the difference in blood pressure, that is in kPa and millimeters of mercury, 
between the person's head and his feet. So let's say this is the person. And he's 1.8 meters tall. So that's the difference between the height at his head and the height level at his feet. So how can we calculate the difference in blood pressure? The difference in pressure is going to be the density times the gravitational acceleration times the difference in height. So the density of blood is 1060 kilograms per cubic meter. That's the average density of whole blood. The gravitational acceleration is 9.8 and the height difference is 1.8 meters. So 1060 times 9.8 times 1.8 will give us a pressure of 18,698.4 pascals. Now to get that answer in kilopascals, we need to divide our result by 1,000. So this is going to be 18, which I'm going to round it to 18.7 kilopascals. So that's the first answer that we're looking for. Now the second answer is we need to convert it to millimeters of mercury. Now you need to know that 1 atm is equal to 101.3 kilopascals and that's equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So we need to convert it. So let me get rid of some stuff at the top. So let's start with 18.7 kilopascals. Now I'm going to use this part as my conversion factor. So I need to put kPa on the bottom so that it's going to cancel. So I'm going to put 101.3 kPa on the bottom, which is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So always make sure that these units cancel. And then what's left over is the unit that you want to get. So it's 18.7 times 760 divided by 101.3. And so this correlates to a pressure of 140 millimeters of mercury. And so this is the answer. Now let's work on our last problem. The average blood pressure in the heart is 13,000 pascals. What is the blood pressure at the head of a person 0.4 meters above the person's heart? And also, what is the blood pressure at his feet 1.3 meters below his heart level? And we're given the density of blood again. So let's say this is the person. And let's say his heart is at this point. So his feet is 1.3 meters below his heart level, and his head is 0.4 meters above his heart level. Now the pressure of his heart is 13,000 pascals. Our goal is to calculate the pressure at his feet and at his head. Now, what we need to understand is that the pressure decreases as you go up. So the pressure at his head is going to be less than 13,000 pascals. And the pressure at his feet is going to be greater than 13,000 pascals. So let's calculate the pressure at his head. So the pressure at his head is going to be the difference between the pressure at his heart minus PGH. So that's the change in pressure due to this change in height. So at his heart, the pressure is 13,000 pascals. The density of blood is 1060. G is 9.8. And the person's head is 0.4 meters above this reference level, which is the heart level. And so this is going to be positive 0.4. 
So 13,000 minus 1060 times 9.8 times 0.4. So this is going to be 8,845 if you round it to the nearest whole number. Now, we could use the same equation to calculate the pressure at his feet. So it's going to be the pressure at his heart, 13,000 pascals, minus the density times G, and H, we're dealing with a height level that's 1.3 meters below the person's heart level. So H is going to be negative 1.3 instead of positive 1.3. So if you type it in the way um, you see it in the bottom, you should get 26,504 pascals.